All right, well, this morning on First News, we are getting the latest from Washington straight from a Louisiana lawmaker himself. Yeah, today we have U.S. Senator Bill Cassidy here to talk to us about some new legislation to create a federal paid family leave program. And that is good news for a lot of families. Senator, first off, thanks so much for coming in today. We appreciate it. Hey, thank you for having me. I mean, I compliments to you for getting up so early every morning. <laughs> no compliments <laughs> to you for joining us. Thank you. Now, let's talk about um, what this means for paid uh, family leave. Now, this is a big issue and really could help out some families. Why did you feel that there was a need for this? So, if you think about what President Trump tries to do and what I try and do, you think about the family around the kitchen table. Mm -hmm. What is important to them? Now, if you've just had a baby, you want to be able to stay home with that baby. You may know I'm a doctor. If the mama can stay home and breastfeed, wow, it's great for the baby, it's great for the mama. Mm -hmm. But if she needs to go back to work, you want to give her that opportunity too. So we're able to put a paid family leave policy in. No, it does not raise taxes, does not increase the debt, no mandates, but it does allow a mother or a father to stay at home with that child. They get $5,000 up front. They can use it um, to either pay for someone to care for their child if they have to go back to work, mm -hmm. or they can use it for the expense of that child. The, the first year of a child's life is a lot more expensive than every other year. Right. Think of all the diapers. I'm finding that out with a seven-month-old. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> and so this allows yeah. that. And the way we do it is we pull forward a child tax credit that Republicans put into law with the Tax Cut and Jobs Act. Mm. Right. And so we think it works for the family, we think it works for the employer, it definitely works for the baby. Absolutely. Now another big issue that's right now uh, in Washington that's getting bipartisan support, we're talking about medical care and lowering those costs, especially when it comes to those surprise bills that people get in the mail. What do you have to say about that? Again, think about that family. And they go to a hospital which is in network they think on their insurance and they get a ten thousand dollar bill for a piece of equipment that was out of network mm. uh, that is called a surprise medical bill sure. and that is a kitchen table issue we just try and take that family out of the middle so that if the hospital or the doctor and the insurance company don't think it's fair they go at each other but the patient is out of the middle All right. and so we're working on that uh, just to give financial security for those families doing it right going to the right hospital, but then getting that bill. Thinking of the patient first and allowing for transparency is what it Yeah, like. well, there's two aspects to it. One, if you're in a, in a, you get in a wreck, you're in an ambulance, you don't have time to check, oh, wait a second, uh, is my provider in, in, in network? Right, That's right. Or the if, piece of equipment that they happen to use. Yes, but if it is elective, oh, I'm going to go in and see the doctor and I'm going to have something done, that indeed is something which is elective and you should have the chance to make sure that your provider is in network. Right. Senator Cassidy, uh, I guess my last question here, you, you get a little break from DC, probably a nice thing right now. What are you going to do while you're home? Oh, so it's just wonderful to, to go around the state. You know, I feel like I have a, mu a bunch of hometowns and I like to visit all of my hometowns. Mm -hmm. And so I love coming to Shreveport. I always get ideas about how to benefit my state and my country by speaking to people in this region. And Bossier Shreveport area, people care. They want our country and state to be better. And if I can take that wisdom and put it into legislation, I'm doing my job. All right, sounds good. Senator, so much for joining us on First News this morning and for waking up so early. Nate and I are used to it. I know everybody else isn't. <laughs> well, thank you. All right. Best of luck back in Washington. Thank sir. you. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Time right now, 6.09. We'll be back with more.